Hey! Hi! Welcome, everybody! Welcome! We did it. We've got the new setup. We're still not finished. This isn't final. Uh, but we rearranged the whole office so we have a little bit more space for some things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's going to be pretty cool. Okay, so today we have a special unboxing. Brand new. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Indeed. <laughs> this is the um, Reaper. So Reaper, Reaper Minis. They make miniatures and paint and all such stuff. And they do conventions as well. Uh, ReaperCon is one a convention I like a lot. Uh, but right now, uh, everything is virtual. So they're doing a thing called v Reaper Virtual Expo. So this is an online event. It's completely free. And I want to be very clear up front, this is not an ad. This is not sponsored. Uh, this is just like a really cool thing that I wanted to talk about. So, so I'm not getting paid to do this. Yet. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't even get it for the box for free. Maybe next time. But uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up this box. And we've got the Mega Bundle. So they have swag bags, swag boxes, full of minis and extra paint and gear and cool stuff. Uh, and uh, the Mega Bundle contains multiple boxes. So there's like a hobby box, a painting box, and um, another one that I don't remember. But we're going to open it up <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to take a look. Uh, so oh, this is oh. the Mega Bundle. <laughs> look at it go. <laughs> All right. So let's switch, let's switch the camera over. Thank you, everybody. Let's see, top stream. All right, yeah, this is a big box. Woo! So we're gonna take this big box apart first. So we're gonna cut this protector stuff very safely. Super safely. There we go. I have not done an unboxing video before, although I sure have watched a lot of them, <laughs> so. I've never done one live, so this is exciting. Yeah. I don't think I've done one live. Uh, Not that I can recall. We're going to cut this tape. This is a great, great shot right now. I know. <laughs> the anticipation is building, though. Yeah. <laughs> Ho! All right. I'm going to try to take the sneak peek. Hide our address stuff. All right. Okay, that looks good. Go ahead and take that, please. So, lots of foam. So, as you can see inside of here, <laughs> we've got boxes and boxes and boxes. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go through each of these boxes one at a time. We'll set them up here first. The Reaper Virtual Expo Expo Box. The Reaper Virtual Expo Punk Box. And we've got an awesome kind of haircut situation here, plus some 3D steampunk glasses. Looking forward to that one. All right. Number three, the RVE 2021 Hobby Box with their cute little skull guys on it. These are some of my favorite Reaper minis that they make are um, like the little, the little bodies, big head minis that they make. There's Chibi. This, Sure. I think. Chibis? I haven't bothered. I just think they're cute. I don't know. Chibis. I know there's a skeleton one and a swamp monster one. They're great. <laughs> yeah. You got it. And I mean, there are a whole bunch more. I think there's, there's like a scarecrow. The fly. There's like a dozen of them. Oh, the fly I thought was gross. So I yeah. didn't retain that. So, um, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Cyberpunk is this year's theme. Ah, it Tip shows. Yeah. More, so typically Reaper, I, I feel like typically it is kind of fantasy D and D Pathfinder type of stuff. But they've they've always, as far as I know, they've always had some sci-fi kind of stuff yeah. going on. And so, I mean, obviously Cyberpunk is a popular game right now. Uh, so it's cool and it's different. It's definitely different. This is the uh, the skull, the Reaper skull. Oh yeah. Yeah, he has a name. I forget what it is. I don't know. I mean, there's the main one, or at least part of it. So. Good point. That's interesting. I took this more as wings, but now that you say it, it's exactly the spiral on that um, horn there. That's yeah. what made me think. I thought he was just like a bat version of a big-headed uh, mini. That would make sense. Yeah, but no. Say, this... Can we push this up? Can you pick that up over the gray thing? Nope, the keyboard over the gray thing. <laughs> okay, this Again, is a new setup. New setup, setup. in process. <laughs> All right, okay. So let's, uh, which one do you want to do first? We've got Hobby Box, Punk Box... Expo box. I mean, that one's right there. I feel like right. I'm excited to see. Hobby box. We'll go from large to small here. Oh, 
All right, and one. So I don't know exactly what's in all these boxes, but I knew so, I do know some of the boxes have uh, gift cards. So I'm gonna take a peek in there to make sure the number number's not up. Thanks for being cool, everybody. <laughs> Doesn't have to be too extra safe. Yeah. Um, I have never played at a Reaper convention. This is one where I like to just hang out in the hotel um, and really live my best life of a bed full of fried foods with Bravo streaming. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done that, but I have painted some of their minis. They're really good. Um, and like I said, I really enjoy the ones with the big heads. Yeah. They're funny to me. <laughs> okay, so I think it's on the bottom, so we're gonna we're gonna go with that. Alright, fold that down a little bit. Do me a favor, toss this foam padding well boxed boxes. Okay, so this is the hobby box. Yeah. So this looks like a paint. Tray. I think it's a paint, it's like a shelf, yeah. Oh, Uh, definitely well secured. I did not know that Eric was even ordering these boxes, so I especially don't know what's in them. Thus, this <laughs> is like Christmas. <laughs> but not for me. All right. So, yeah. So you can see the paint shelves. Ah. The, these are the sides, and then these mm -hmm. click. So in, like in. the stackable kind. Yeah. We don't have any in the shop, but yeah. yeah. So that's cool. Spice rack tiered kind, kind of. Yeah, and so yeah. I think a really nice thing about this event is that you can be brand new player, or you can be pro. But you like this stuff's always going to be helpful, right? Absolutely. And it comes with the screws and everything. And if someone doesn't need this, it could be used for nail polish. <laughs> they already have a perfect system already, all over a wall. Bolted onto the wall. All right. <laughs> Back there. All right. Up next. Is it a cutting board? I'm not sure. Is it a kit? Oh, I think the static noise. Sorry. And let me know in the chat if this noise is too much. It's probably, <laughs> probably pretty loud. Uh, I think this is a like a little photo, like softbox. Oh, nice. Well, it's a new layout. We're still adjusting. Uh, you know, that's exactly what it is. Oh, great. Part of the ways that Eric is able to take such great photos of his minis that he paints and posts on Instagram, at Fry Minis, is he's got a great lighting setup. He had built a light box for a while. He had a collapsible light box that he would set up on our kitchen counter on sunny days to get the lighting just right. <laughs> yeah. um, but again, like you were saying, for people who are new, this is a great way to be able to take photos of your minis. Yeah, so I don't want to open it too much because we're going to do an actual review that'll go up on Sunday. Uh, and so we'll... we'll take it apart and put everything together there. So it looks like it's got a white background and a black background. I used to be a big white background person and I switched to black background. Very exciting. <laughs> I preferred the white, but I was outvoted and I deferred to the group. <laughs> yeah. We did do a vote. Do Thank you. Yeah. We can try to get it back there. All right. I'll do that off camera for our poor listeners. <laughs> okay, so right here, this is a pokey tool. Can I have that? If you don't yell into the camera anymore. <laughs> yeah. I got excited. Yeah. Uh, so the pokey tool, so paint gets clogged. Uh, and it's not a reaper problem, that's just a paint problem. Yeah. Uh, so sometimes you literally want to use a pokey tool to stab into, <laughs> into the paint and then loosen up. Uh, but yeah, we'll, so we'll keep this for the review, but we'll uh, this will be yours. Yes. Uh, this comes with some minis too. So this is a uh, Rook Arcos Jumper. So remember, we'll have a uh, more in-depth coverage on Sunday. Uh, this looks like a person. Yeah. With an axe, a gold miner. Just looks like a human being to me. Uh, a pickaxe. I wasn't going to specify the axe because I didn't know. All right. So right here is a gift card. <laughs> so on the other side of this, there's a code. And that way you can spend more money on Reaper. Mm -hmm. Why not? A hobby holder. So this is a, uh, a paint holder so or a mini holder. So you can put your mini on there, use a little bit of tack. 
Uh, this hook thing is so you can rest your hand on it. Ah. Kind of like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's uh, that was one thing that I did try to get Tim's turnings to do for our handles, but uh, he well, he didn't have a way to do it. Which I don't know how you would do it with wood anyway. Yeah, with a wooden leave, it'd be really tough. Yeah. So if you don't use a, a handle of some sort, I recommend it. I think it's good that way. Your fingers aren't melting anything, and if you won't need to set it down, it's really easy to just set it down. Yeah. It's really great to have a handle as well, so you can kind of hold the mini upside down, get to all the little different nooks and crannies without having to mm -hmm. find a stable way to hold it. I highly recommend the handle. Yeah. So some uh, some handles have like a little latching oh, mechanism. Oh, sure. Uh, but it looks like this one and the one that we use, uh, you just use a little bit of putty tack stuff to hold it on. I knew it as teacher's tack. Teacher's tack. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know the... Uh, a brush cup. So this is friends don't let friends drink paint water. Good, good advice. Pro move. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So just rinse your brush off. I think we have about twenty-five of those. I look forward to having a red one. That seems I new know. to me. Uh, so this one, this is another nice one. Uh, so this is like a mixing palette. Oh, nice. It's a piece of it's laminated paper, but it's good, especially for an event like this. So you can take classes. You can take these painting classes, basic stuff all the way up to advanced stuff. Uh, this way you can just use that if you don't have a wet palette or something else. Yeah, really nice. And then that wipes down with just a paper towel. You don't have to necessarily take it to the bathroom, especially in a convention setting. That's great. Yeah. Virtual convention. Or in person okay. when we can do that again. Let's get rid of the box. Perfect. All right. So here we have a box of paint. Uh, and we'll open this on the for the actual review. We're going to hold it for now. Uh, but you can see we've got... A bunch of paints, yep. roadie soil, roddy soil. I don't know. A good variety. These are some nice darker colors. Yeah, I would say some really good neutrals through here, but a beautiful blue that could be used in a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. um, and then a nice kind of contrasty blue to get your kind of tone and highlight and then something to do your shading as well. Yeah. That's great. And of course, I mean, the box itself inside there, the little holes so you can put the different paints in there mm -hmm, if you mm -hmm. need to use it like if you're going to a painting day uh kind of thing some of these are great i've got a whole bookshelf full of these indeed he does <laughs> i don't remember previously seeing the reaper yeah so i don't know a year or two ago they switched they used to have those like suck off camera but they had the yeah. more rounded that's what i uh, and remember. those they were buying mm. so these they actually make they actually do the injection plastic or whatever uh so it's, it's nice and they stack flat. I just, we had so many of the other ones. So now I've got like two sets going. Yeah. But we fear change. We do. I do like the logo on it. I think that looks really cool and adds something nice to the box. It, it feels special instead of something I could have picked up at Michael's from any random brand. Definitely agree. A uh, little side note with these, they, um, for at least if, if past events, they color code these so you can they can tell like which shipment, which oh. batch, which uh, color variety, or so, something like that. Uh, so that way you can, oh, yeah, I got the yellow one. Oh, okay, we got a problem with the yellow. I don't know. Good to know. It means something. Sure. Next up, the punk box. The punk box. Would you like to open this one? Uh, I will do my darndest. All right, yeah, just don't push too deep. I haven't used an X-Acto knife in a while. This is very exciting. <laughs> uh, running joke in our household is that I am incapable of opening boxes appropriately because I just rip at them, whether part of the box comes with a tape or I just shred the box into a million pieces. I'm just excited to get my Sephora, Target, or Amazon order. All right, let me take a peek in here for this next gift card. Look up here. It's so exciting what I'm doing right now, which is doing this. Okay, I think we're good. I think it's in the other one. <laughs> Okay. Another paint cup, I think. Do you want to you want to dig in on this one? Uh, sure. Take I the will lead. also narrate what's happening. Okay. Some luminous goggles, the upgrade version. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but from oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay, so just boxes or excuse me, goggles that have some kind of highlighted colors in it, so it looks like you've got kind of a. It's so you can be cyberpunk. It's so it looks painting. like you've got like an up screen kind of, or like what Iron Man has in his helmet, but I think it's just static. Um, cool looking glasses. I can't tell if this is one or two pair, it's but. It's probably one, yeah. Three on the box. Well, two on the box plus the reflection. Anyway, 
these are going to be really cool, and I think I'll just wear them at night, and then if at some point Eric rolls over, I'll just be wearing them, and I think that'll be really fun. <laughs> yeah. That's my plan so far. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. Okay, Cyber Metal Fast Palette. A palette of six sci-fi metallics suitable for metal, armor, and weapons. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so I picked up looking at the back. So again, some really cool colors. Green, hot blue, and blue titanium. I'm really excited about that afterburn. Aoki Steel, is that? The DJ. Okay. Steve Aoki. That's the only thing that I think of because I really... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, you're just... You don't know if it's real? Yeah, <laughs> no. I just like his remix of Kid Cudi's song. Anyway. I like Kid Cudi. Afterburn is a good, nice looking orange color from what I can see. Again, we'll have to wait for Eric's unboxing video. But from what I can see here and the paints inside through the plastic that you might not be able to see, they look like really great metallics and excellent colors to have. The tungsten I'm excited for too. I like I like the metallics with a little bit of brown in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's pretty versatile. That's true. A lot of the metallics get really bright and you almost lose the pigment to it because it's just shiny. And that one looks like it's got good potential. Yeah. Strange's Gumpla. Thank you. Nice turquoise color. I agree. Green titanium, I think. Oh, is that this this one, right? Yeah, it does yeah. look pretty. And I'm excited for all of them. Okay. Thanks for tuning in, by the way. Yes, thanks. Welcome. Glad throw, to have you. Throw us a like if you would. All right, another this is the Cyber Gangs fast palette. So the other one was Cyber Metal. This is Cyber Gangs. What's your best cyber noise? Okay, that's really good. Um, the distant future, the year 2000. <laughs> oh, now we're copyrighted. No, that's a different thousand. Um, it was that one, yeah. Cool. Uh, pretty basic colors. Um, bright, and I'm sure a different tone than a lot of the Reaper paints we already have on hand. They look like they're going to be unique, but at the end of the day, it's orange, red, scarlet, gray, green, and blue. So... What's the story on this box, Mini Mishap says. Yeah, so go go to Reaper Minis or uh, ReaperVirtual.com. Uh, Reaper Minis is having a, a virtual convention. It's, the convention is completely free. You can take painting classes. You can play AL Adventures League games. So you can do D&D. &D. They have Pathfinder Society, Starfinder Society. Uh, it's all virtual, all free. Super cool. It's March 5th, 6th, and 7th. It's all online. Uh, they're doing some of it on Twitch, some of it on Zoom. Uh, and the, these boxes are not free. Uh, these are the swag boxes. I feel that these are awesome bundles, awesome value. I really, really, I love Reaper conventions, but I really love the swag boxes. I think you <laughs> yes, get so much. <laughs> I think you get so much in the, so many of these are like unique uh, or like um, exclusive minis mm, that you can mm -hmm. only get through these, at least for a while. Yeah. Convention site. Had to, oh, okay. Mm. Uh, oh, there should be a link on there. But yeah, so you can get these boxes. What we're looking through is we're looking at the Mega Bundle, which is all three boxes. And uh, just a fun fact, whenever you order something from Reaper and you hit $40 or more, you get a free mini. You get to pick out a free mini. And so this was well over $40. So we got a... <laughs> so we got quite a few free minis, uh, which are in a different box. I didn't think those were worth opening. Uh, but it also, uh, on top of the regular $40 mini you get, uh, they're giving away Bones USA, which is a new material. Oh. So Bones USA is Reaper Bones-ish material made in the USA. Actually, oh, cool. actually made and injected and completely here, not shipped from China. Cool. What was the site I walked out of the reapervirtual.com or if you just go to reapermini.com you can find a link on there reaper virtual and side note uh i did a short on this on wednesday so if you want a little high level overview of what the whole thing is uh check out the what is reaper virtual expo uh short from wednesday purple with the little guy on it thank you for all the questions <laughs> thank you for, for uh chit chatting appreciate it and just okay. a reminder not sponsored yeah yeah, yeah not sponsored <laughs> Eric just knows a lot. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. So getting back into the punk box. Punk box. Um, some minis here. This looks like, I I don't know. I'm not going to try to even say these names. Rugatari? Sure. I don't know. But he looks like a fruit bat with one of those oh. like, poop, like pointy noses. <laughs> I think he looks like a space bugbear. 
Yep, that's probably more accurate. A space bugbear. And remember, we're doing an actual review video on Sunday. So stay tuned for that for the close-ups and details. Right now, we're just doing unboxing. Trying to get away from the mic. I can't. Oh, there we go. Okay. So this is the person that was on the front of the box with those cool um, glasses that now I have a little bit of a pair of. Yeah. Um, I just assume those are mine. And this person has a <laughs> keyboard and a cool haircut. And again, not necessarily a D&D mini and that's not what it's supposed to be. I'm not sure that we would be able to use this tabletop, but I'd really oh, like bard. to paint it. It's it looks a bard. cool. <laughs> a power bard. Power bard. Power space bard. <laughs> um all right. Another Arcos. Uh, so there's some lore here that I need to learn. I'll try to get some of that learned this, before the video. This is a great mini. It's Looks like it's a woman. She's holding a skull. She's got cool hair that isn't just in her face. I really don't like it when women in action movies and stuff have like their hair down and all in their face. Like we use ponytail holders at the gym. Anybody with long hair does that. So I love that she has a practical haircut, looks awesome, and has this kind of creepy grave digger vibe. I'm not sure exactly what's going on with the shovel and skull here. She reminds me of... Uh, um... Oh my god, uh, Star Lord from the first movie when he gets the Infinity Stone, the purple one. Oh, sure. From the, mm -hmm. at, the, at the very start. And he's holding, yeah. yeah, yeah. And a little bit of a Hamlet pose. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Oh no. All right, next up is a person. The base is going to be covering them up, and I'm not going to do the work to fix it. But um, there, you go. there you go. It's a woman who's got a gun and a knife. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so Reapers always had some kind of sci-fi type of thing uh, going, like robots, and, and there was even a game. I believe Reaper was involved with a, uh, a game. Huh. Here, let me, uh, give me one second. I've got it just off screen. Figures, oh, Cav Chronoscope and Cav Strike Ops. I believe that those are future-y uh, things. But I think this is definitely a, a more in-depth dive. These are, I believe these are new minis. Cool. This is metal and it Whoa. is super heavy. And you can see this person oh, yeah. has a, will be bigger than average. I don't know what size that would be in D&D &D terms. Uh, definitely large. Okay. So a large creature um, in multiple parts, which can make it easier to paint. Cav is what it's called. Oh, hey, th John. What's up, John? Thank you. Hi, Appreciate John. Appreciate you clicking in. Thanks for being here. I don't want to spoil who John is if people don't know. Uh, oh, so yet another paint cup. Always cool to have. And... John has all the info. Chronoscope is our side do. Si time travel. Time traveler? Because I know there's like the Victorian people. Oh, I yeah. Think. I've seen those minis. I don't know what Sido is, though. I'm I don't sorry. either. I really i am letting it down it's here. It's size. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the big head. I love the yeah. chibis. Oh, okay. John, what's the what's the mascot called? Please and thank you. <laughs> Please and thank you. So some cool patches. They're Velcro, so you don't have to commit for life or so or iron or anything like that. Um, Very cool. Oh, it, oh okay, okay. Okay. Sorry. I really <laughs> thought that Sido was a thing that I just didn't know about. Same. Wasn't being. Same. <laughs> um, yeah. Cool. Cool patches. Good thing to have. All right. That is and box. What's on that box? Or the cup? Oh. The virtual expo, and then some cool cyberpunky oh, yeah, looking. Yeah. Grim. grim, yeah, of course. Grim. Excellent. Uh, yeah, if you don't mind throwing those back in. Yep. Uh, so reminder, everybody, this is just our unboxing video. We're gonna do the actual review that'll be posted up on Sunday. All right. Do you want to do the next one too? I do not. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is the expo box. This is one of Eric's favorite conventions to go to every year, so we're super bummed to not be able to go live, but we're glad it's not live. Thank you, Reaper, for not trying to yeah. have it live, but just the state of the world, you know, kind of bummed about it. Um, Eric loves to go, and I feel like we leave with more stuff than we come with. It's only <laughs> a weekend, but between the shopping and if you can imagine how many minis Eric has, if you can imagine trying to shop with Eric for minis insane because first of all anything that i want him to paint will be painted anything that's <laughs> cute or fun or delightful i love frog minis i think they're really great as i talked about um i like the chibi size scale minis that reaper has um and i think monsters are pretty cool too so 
there's the shopping aspect of it because they've got a lot of different displays that's amazing, plus the giveaways, plus things that Eric has on his wish list, plus things that Eric has never seen before, so he has to just buy it. I mean, I just, I feel like we bring a suitcase just to get home mini stuff. Yeah. Yeah, if we if we had to fly, I don't know what we would do. Nope. Uh, we did open the hobby box. It was the first one we did. <gasps> Super cool. Uh, I love the little paint stairs. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. The light box was a really great addition. Yes. We were talking about that. Oh, my God. So cool to have in a box like this. And such an excellent kind of outside the norm. Like, it, it's not strictly to do with painting. It's so you can really capture your great mini painting yeah. work. But a uh, nice kind of light box outside the box. I can't come up with a better way to say <laughs> it. But a cool add-on that yeah. your average painter might not be able to find. No, I've, I've loved these boxes. I think these are excellent. Yeah. All right, so this is this is the expo box. So this is for like the overall event, as I as I would imagine. So uh, if you go to ReaperCon uh, or the other virtual events now, uh, you you might start to get multiples of some of these things. So uh, Reaper class notes. Oh, and more stickers in there. Let's open those up real quick. I have several of those notebooks from my own registrations for ReaperCon. Ooh. Some spares that were left on tables that people didn't want. Yeah. Um. I use those pretty often look at four stick these are and these are nice those are thick oh wow yeah these are like vinyl -y stickers mercury flyers yeah these this is what was on that paint cup for the other thing Rube so Charky. arcos i guess they're like the explorers oh i'm imagining with an owl and the shovel uh and then cyberists john i promised to learn some of this lore before the <laughs> actual video <laughs> Just an unboxing, and D and D is the only game that I play, and I don't memorize all the characters or rules or classes or anything there. So I'm just here for the fun. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So Nothing a nice person. notebook. Uh, badges. So one. It, this is. I. Th I think. I think some people might go a little overboard here, uh, but at <laughs> at the conventions, uh, at Reaperham in person. Uh, you can get these little... Um, like flags. Little flags, yeah. That have like little stick tape on there. And so if, if you do cool things, you can get different. And, and you stack them up and like, oh, I got a crit on a D20 roll. Or, oh, I went to a uh, painting class. I get a special one. And people will go and go and go and go. And they'll have four feet long of these flags. Yes, I've seen it like <laughs> thrown over someone's shoulder because yeah. it was dragging on the floor. Yeah, like, it's fun. It's just a fun thing. It is, yeah. absolutely. There, you can get, I think, a rainbow flag to identify yourself as a queer player or an ally, which is really great. Mm -hmm. uh, first time conventioner, fifth year conventioner kind of thing. Yeah. Um, a lot of perks that you have, identification things that you have. It's, it's And people make their own too. They do. Maybe when ReaperCon is in person again, maybe we'll get some fried minis on. That's on you. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, but I do. I do like that these. This is in here. You're like we don't need this. This is a yeah. virtual thing. But uh, people often wear these to future events, mm -hmm. so they'll still wear like multiples of these. Yeah. So it'll be literally a badge of honor. All right. Uh, these things will start to change as well. We are aware that some dupl Okay, our duplicates starting to happen. Is my goal to start out? Is my goal to start to be out of the box? Uh, the hobby box had a good hand. At, I. It was great. I'm, I'm I'm getting lost on this one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, no, the Hobby Box was awesome. That was the big one. Yeah. Yeah. Paint set. Uh, Paint set. Very cool. That was a good shot, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to help you recap, thank but you, I think we're moving you. on. Yeah, we're moving on. <laughs> okay. Um, paint. I love the triads. One of my favorite things about Reaper Paint is we uh, they, they're really, really great with having these three packs of colors that all go together in some like skin trios. Oh, sure. So you, you can do the shadows and the highlights yeah. and, the, and everything. Uh, and then doing these different colors. Like uh, last year, I think we had like those, I don't know how to say it, pathalos. Like the clear, like clearish or something. Uh, but these, these are just bright, bold primary colors. Two thoughts. One, I don't know that they come in three packs because all of my paint comes from Eric's giant wall of paint that he's got <laughs> yeah. organized by color and by number. Um, I secondarily, I often tease Eric that the minis that he paints look like a clown factory threw up. And I think these will really, he might use these poorly um, to really <laughs> <laughs> all on one mini to just be like a striped wicked masterpiece. So I'm, I really like these colors. I think these are great. It's, it's often... We've talked before about our favorite paints from Reaper have been some of the holiday ones. So gingerbread yeah. cookie is really good. Oh or turkey God. brown is my favorite go-to brown. Mm -hmm. um, so just Fresh some, blood. 
I haven't used that one, yeah. but I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> so just having some base colors in bold primary colors to mix in with what we already have is actually really awesome. We don't need super unique colors. Just having these is yeah. perfect. And that yellow looks pretty solid. Yellow is a hard one to do well, I think. So I'm excited about that. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, we've got some minis. Uh, Chit Jubal. Jubal? Is that an L? Jubal. Chit Jubal Arcos Chopper. Uh, he looks like a dude with some goggles and like a, a little handsaw. And maybe he's going to cut bones. He's got a little toolbox. No, thanks. <laughs> uh, Artificer waiting to be. Thalo. I'm sh oh, Thalo. Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you. Ooh, this is a... Oh, ho. here you go. You ready? You ready? You didn't see this one yet, did you? I didn't see it, but I just want to add to this. The bone saw situation does look really gross, but at a glance, you could almost think it was the Starship Enterprise, which is kind of cool. <laughs> so if you really do yeah. something different with the paint job. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll save that one. I like that this is really detailed. We're going to save that one. Uh, Genesis Viceroy Assassin. All right. This is one of our little beach volley. But I like that it's split in two. That's an interesting take on a mini. San Savar Chung Viceroy. Love this one. Take a look at that. Okay, yes. <laughs> I love minis that have not like traditional shapes like hourglass or mm. inverted triangle yeah. shapes, but really like stocky minis. Um, like the dwarves. dwarves. I think Reaper dwarves are great. I completely agree. I think that halflings are fun, but they get to be so small that yeah. it just feels like a really teeny human. Um, whereas a mini that comes in just a different size and shape than the average body of a model, I think is really, really great. This detail, you can't see it here, I'm sure, but there's detail on this vest that it's almost like patchwork, which I think is mm -hmm. really great. Um, and remember, we'll have close-ups of all this in the actual video on Sunday. Exactly. And yeah, this looks really fun to paint. The box that he's holding is almost like a treasure chest, maybe. Oh. And it's got, again, like some detail, almost an emblem on it. It's Yeah, excellent. I love his nose. I think that's my favorite part of him. It's just so... Okay, yeah. It's just like such a dwarfy... Yes. Although I don't know that he's actually a dwarf. Well, and the way that he's standing with a little bit of a hip sway to him, he's got a lot of personality. <sighs> a rogue tarky or hound. It's hard to... I see what you mean. Under, I know. Under the table to avoid the camera. Yeah. Avoid yeah. the microphone yeah, so you microphone. don't hear that awful noise. Well, you, oh, can, you can see his face a little bit. I can. Yeah. Stay for, away for Sunday. I'll try to keep it. That's fine. Oh. This is going to be really cool. Tune in on Sunday to see whatever this thing looks like because... <laughs> yeah, I don't know that I'll have it assembled. I'm Sunday. really excited about it. Okay. Okay, we've got another paint cup Excellent. with Grim. Uh, yeah, I, we have so many of these. And that, we that, do. That, I like that they're all a little different. I agree. They're those like pizza dungeon ones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is also kind of fun because it's printed to look like cyber line, kind of low mm -hmm. quality, um, retro futuristic things. So it's nice that, again, there's some cool detail to it. They... It's almost like they're designers and they know what they're doing. <laughs> this, yeah, the, the stylization of mm -hmm. everything, the theme of everything with the cyberpunk stuff. Yeah. With Grimm himself. I think this has been excellent, extremely well done. The level of detail is great. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this is going to sound stupid, but bear with me. These pens, these ReaperCon <laughs> pens, I think I did it uh, in a ReaperCon 2020 unboxing video I talked about it too. These are some of my favorite pens on the planet. And I've got some pretty nice pens. Well, not like a pen guy or anything, but I've got some above average I pens. don't know. This is a man who more than once has come home when we were out and about in the world to say, like, sign your name with this pen. Isn't this an awesome <laughs> pen? And, like, sure. These <laughs> so are, Eric is particular about pens. So when he says something's nice, it is. These are by far my favorite, like, event pens. And I, I, I go to quite a few events uh, for work stuff and other stuff and this stuff and whatever. And this is, these are just great. These are great, great, great. I love them. If you ever have a chance to snag one of these, do it. <laughs> I'll also just say, as someone who has to order pens and other marketing collateral, this is a nice model. I like that. Yeah. And it's big enough for the logo. Again, they really know what they're doing. All right. Close your eyes. Stick out a hand. There you go. Take a look. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Wow. 
Grim. It's Grim. It's Grim, y'all. <laughs> and he's got his big chibi style head. And what he's going to be so precious. Yeah, I can't tell what the little pieces oh, are. Oh, they're screens. Within. They're screens. Oh, the screens. They had, this on, they had this on a stream. I saw it on a stream, I think. Cool. Yeah. So you can paint little Fry Minis logos. Anybody's welcome to do that. Of course, yeah. If you do that, tag me. Yeah. <laughs> That's super fun. And again, the stylization of it, of the little body, but the big head, those deep set eyes. I'm not sure that you'll totally be able to see it, but the eyes themselves have done really, really well. Eric will have a better shot of it on Sunday, but like, that's a cool looking mini. And I can imagine that when it's your own brand mascot logo, you're gonna put extra effort into it, but you don't always have to, right? Cause it's just your logo and it should stand on its own. This is amazing. This is a super fun play on y'all's logo. Yeah, no, I think it's great. And the twisted horns really do. Boop, boop, boop. They're kind of cute in this format, yeah. you know? <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. So we've now finished opening the actual three boxes in the Mega Bundle. Which one was your favorite? I don't... I hobby don't Punk Expo. I think I'm going to go Hobby. Okay. You? Um, I'm going to go with the punk one. I thought it had some fun surprises in it. And I really like the paints that are in it. Yes. I hit... There that... are no losers. Modeled after Elkhorns. Fun fact. Oh! I, um, one time, uh, in high school, I was driving home from visiting my sister in college. Um, she was in college. It was a rural area and I hadn't had my license very long. And I was driving along a road, um, kind of in the middle of nowhere at dusk. And all of a sudden there were some deer in the road. And I was like, oh my God, deer, that's so special. And then I realized, oh God, deer, that's not special. And I slammed on the brakes, but I still hit one. And then it went up over the hood of my car as I was screaming the entire time because I was a teenage girl. Um, and then I pulled over to the side of the road and it landed on the ground next to me. So long story short, there are too many deer in the world. I support people who hunt deer. I don't happen to do it myself, but any deer or deer-like creatures, they're what on my a, shit list. What a tangent here. Well. Uh, so <laughs> the reason we're opening these boxes, these two, so these are going to be the extra minis that you get when you hit that ordering point, uh, is the punk box is supposed to have a gift card in it. Oh. And we did not have that gift card. So I'm wondering if it's going to be in one of these, so we're going to take a look here. We're going to carefully open so that y'all don't steal Eric's <laughs> amazing gift card. Because he hasn't gotten enough items yet today. Oh, it could be in one of these because these are these are more convention stuff. Oh, cool. Okay, so this is a Reaper brush holder. So uh, you, can, you, you just like the paint thing, so you'll set yeah. the brush like this sideways. Oh, nice. And so you can paint it. This is new. As far as I know, this is new. Uh, and this is really a fun fun thing to do. I'm really excited to put this one together. It, it's cool. This, Again, this is a, a good way to do stuff, I think, with Reaper's capabilities that are hobby impacting, that it makes sense, but I never would have thought of that. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. Oh, well, thanks, John. Oh. Maybe it's one of these boxes, though. We'll, we'll keep looking, though. <laughs> Yeah, again, when the company doesn't just make minis, they have painting experts and modeling experts there. So it's really great to get little perks like this that, again, you wouldn't think of, you wouldn't yeah. think to buy, but a professional painter will know that this changes the game. All right, so now we're into some of the free minis that we picked up. So when you hit $40 or more in your cart uh, at reapermini.com, or if you go to the store, I don't know if the store is open right now. It probably is. Uh, like pick up, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, once you hit forty dollars, you can pick a free mini. It used to be there was only one mini you could get, but a while ago they expanded it, so now you can pick from like half a dozen minis. Uh, it's I th I think it's a lot better because uh, sometimes you'd end up with like six <laughs> of the same thing before, and so now you can spread it out, which is what we've done here. So this is a uh, Lindir the Elf Archer. Ooh, I like the the cloak on there. Mm -hmm. Now this probably won't be in the unboxing, but uh, or the actual review because these are. Not related to it, but yeah. A good metal mini. Yeah, and again, it's hard to tell yeah. exactly through kind of the plastic here, but a good dynamic pose. The person isn't just standing there. There's almost like a 
like I've been spotted or I've spotted something kind of yeah. action to it. Would you do me a favor and look through the punk box again just to double check? Can do. Nice. All right, I'll keep digging through these. So we have a Paladin Initiate, another metal one. And I think this is the one I doubled up on because I was actually thinking we could both paint, Julie, we could both paint a Paladin Initiate for a video someday. Sure. And have like a, uh, a battle of the banjo. Ba I'm not going to compete du dueling, with you. Dueling banjos. <laughs> But I like that idea. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, so, there, so I picked two Paladin Initiates. Uh, I pick, I've got the Valkyrie Krigmer from the Warlord line here. This is a dwarf, I think. Oh, this one's really cool. Olaf the Wolf Warrior. That's a crazy barbarian with dual-wielding battle axes. That one's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, we'll go back to him. Uh, and then Sir Michael the Gold. This helmet uh, is, let's see, can we see a little bit? No, we're too high. Okay, look at this. Uh, take a look at this hat. Nothing in there? <gasps> no, nothing in there. Okay. Oh, wow. Like a griffin right on the knight's hat. Helmet, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. That's super cool. And again, a great pose. And I like the Dark Heaven Legends. A lot of these, I feel, are kind of like old school style. Mm. And I think that's a lot of fun to uh, to keep there. Yeah. Okay, so this, Darius the Blue. So this is Bones USA. So this is the stuff oh, yeah. that's made and I think, I think it's actually made and then injected and whatever produced in the USA. So that is pretty fun. Uh, I'm excited to try it out. I'm excited to paint that up and see what it does. This model in particular has a lot of really cool fabric patterns. Yeah, lots of folds. Yeah. That I think would be easy to do, but hard to do well. I agree I'm with you. I'm not great with uh, with fabric -y stuff. Well, now you've got blue, yellow, and red <laughs> that you can just paint something really exquisite. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I think those are pretty cool. So again, it's Reaper virtual.com or you can get to it from reapermini.com this is for the reaper oh here let's go full let's go back to our faces i have an exciting update oh please when i was looking in the punk box i went to see just to make sure that the gift card if it were there didn't slip into the glasses thing oh sure and they're not just painted with neon colors but i saw batteries in there so i'm pretty sure that those things actually light up like your oh. heads up display that's what i was trying to think of heads up display oh, oh. HUD to me is um, housing and urban development. Yeah. Anyway, so now I'm extra excited to just put those on at night and just have my own little laser show. I'm thrilled. Cool. Okay. Uh, so reapervirtual.com, uh, March 5th, 6th, and 7th, online, all completely free. Uh, the boxes aren't free, of course, you buy those. Um, super cool. I'm really excited. I, I can't wait to take some of those classes. I'm not sure exactly which ones I'm going to be able to get to but i'm definitely gonna get to something yeah it's super cool especially because a lot of times when you're at the convention you're gaming the entire time mm -hmm. and so there are these amazing opportunities to connect with and learn from incredible painters that they have and it's almost a little bit hard because if you've ever been to reaper you can see the minis that they have that have been painted by their professionals and it's a little bit like oh i could make this mini look great look what they did and no you can't but it's really <laughs> something to aspire to so those classes will be really great that you'll be able to take those yeah thank you you're we'll, we'll take them together i'm sure <laughs> i'm not saying i don't need help to paint i'm saying that i'm here for fun yeah <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you very much for tuning in, for watching. Stay tuned for Sunday. The Sunday's video is going to have uh, our actual review and up close look at all this stuff. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Give the video a like. Uh, check us out on Instagram, on Twitter, and on Patreon. Hey -o. Yeah. Uh, all right, so thank you very much. Yeah, thanks so much. We will see you next time. Bye.